Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Good Saturday evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Brandon Woolley. Those temperatures now in our weather bug network from the 60s to close to 70 degrees. But did you notice we didn't have much wind out there today? All less than about 10 miles per hour, but increasing the wind over the next couple of days. A beautiful looking sunset. We love that shot. 70 degrees is your current temperature on the tarmac of the Tulsa International Airport. Those easterly winds only up to about 5 miles per hour. Temperature is now from the 60s to the 70s, including 75 degrees still for our viewers in McAllister. Into the mid-60s in Bartlesville, 66 degrees in Coffeyville, and Vanita checks in at 65 here for the 6 o'clock hour. So again, the wind speed now all less than about 10, but increasing the wind potential over the next two days, folks, those gusts upwards of about 35 miles per hour. So the windy weather is going to return. The official daytime high today on the tarmac of the Tulsa Airport at 75 degrees with that start at 40. You can see the averages for this time of year of 59 and 37 on the latest series of satellite pictures with the radar. So here's the situation. An area of high pressure is going to shift off towards the east tomorrow in an area of low pressure is going to come in from the west. So as the low gets closer to the high and we're going to be in between those two pressure systems tomorrow, we're going to call that a tight pressure gradient. So that's going to lead to those gusty conditions with those gusts tomorrow between about 30 and 40 miles per hour. Timing that change out on future track winds for tomorrow on Sunday. We're looking at those sustained southerly winds. So a different wind direction tomorrow between about 15 and 25 miles per hour with those localized gusts up upwards of about 35 and the wind is actually going to hang tough for tomorrow night as well. Also on Monday timing things out on future track clouds and precipitation for tomorrow, a mixture of clouds and sunshine and then overcast skies tomorrow night through Monday as the bigger change starts to work in. So a chance for showers and some isolated thunderstorms on Monday and the potential for some severe weather on Monday, especially well to the west of Tulsa out towards Oklahoma City for your Sunday outlook here, a chance for ordinary thunderstorms across western Oklahoma and the panhandle of Texas, but that will shift off towards the east and those storms will gather strength on Monday. The best chance for some of those severe storms well to the west of Tulsa out towards Oklahoma City and to the west of there. So Monday definitely keep track of that because we could see some severe weather across the state. Overnight lows tonight under partly cloudy skies dropping off into the 40s. Miami drops off to 42 degrees. We have uh, Muskogee at 47 southeasterly winds between about 5 and 15 miles per hour, partly cloudy skies. The sunrise comes up at 646, so high temperatures tomorrow still into the 70s on your day planner, but those gusty conditions pulling out of the south with, so, with those localized gusts up to about 35. So again, those daytime highs still into the 70s. Very pleasant Sunday for us in terms of the temperatures, but that wind comes in. Pahuska checks in at 72 degrees. Southerly winds sustained between 15 and 25. Those localized gusts between 30 and 40, especially the strongest winds by tomorrow afternoon. Stickler at 73 degrees and Holdenville also at 73 with those gusty winds. Here's a look at your latest seven day forecast. So over the next couple of days, the changes really starting to work in Monday. A chance for showers and storms, especially by the afternoon and at night. The best chance for severe storms to the west of Tulsa out towards Oklahoma City, cooling off those high temperatures a little bit. So you can see for next week into the 60s, the best chance for rain Stephen on Tuesday and it looks like some heavy rain. We could see a couple of inches in some areas. We'll definitely keep you posted those overnight lows from the 40s to the 50s. So a stormy week next week. Yeah, it looks like a lot of rain possibilities there, which we need some rain, so not bad. Yeah, but unfortunately all at once it looks like on Tuesday especially. All right, Brandon. Thanks. Now it's time for sports.